The 14 field goal attempts for the Sky Force here early on. Stokes sending an early message. Also, six offensive rebounds for the Sky Force. The Jet gets taken down. Just reading the game <laughs> notes. I thought only the media reads that. Put a suit on him, you'd think he was calling the game. I think we got to be careful. Yeah, that, that, is the, that is the case with a handful of these players. Looked way too relaxed for a game three. Winnington strokes a three. Carry over from what we saw last night. Stepping up, knocking down open shots. Speaking of X factors, he's the guy in the Sky Force team that brings that off the bench. How much attention defensively my teammates are going to be open. And with a team like Sioux Falls, he's got guys that can knock down those open shots. Into Stokes, there comes Blue again. Ball movement to Magruder. Rebounded there by Michael Holyfield. Came off the bench in game two with eight big rebounds. LA needs some type of production from their bench. The Jet driving against Stokes, just throws one up and gets the roll. A little English on that one, but what a finish by Majet. And I like the aggressiveness, taking it to the basket when there was no real other options on that play. Paolo drives to the rim, draws the attention, and Stokes on the weak side sticks it back. Transition here for Sioux Falls but it's stopped by Majette, stepping into a three. Like an MVP here tonight, and we talked about the way the defenders mixed up the looks in the defensive just energy they brought towards him in game two, but Stokes is doing the same thing at them offensively, mixing up the looks, the way that he's attacking the basket, and, and how he's moving and creating buckets for himself and also for his teammates. Vander Blue is getting the mismatch against Stokes, just can't take advantage. Kick out Whittington. And Mike. Larry Drew the second is checked in for Sioux Falls. So too as Torre Murray. This is Drew off target from three. All things happen for a reason. I'm just going to stay positive. Four to six weeks for him. He said try and get back and be ready for when Summer League rolls around. 90 seconds to go. DeAndre Liggins just throws it up. Winnington to Keith Benson. A bit of a hitch in his shot as he misses. The Jet open for three. Well beyond the line and left it short. Torrey Murray without numbers pushing to Liggins. Slithers inside. And it was caught on the baseline. Part of their success in their must-win victory. Murray drives in, bodies up against Holyfield and flips it in. And how good was Murray? Last night he came in an offensive spark from the bench. He hit some very timely three-pointers and it showed just the veteran presence that he could bring for this team. Majette drives to the rim and lays it in. Just relentless on the penetration for Josh Majette. Back to a five-point game. The more Josh Majette does that, finds some baskets at the hoop, hopefully it will open up the floor for guys like Ryan Gomes or when a Andre Ingram, Ingram is in the game to knock down some open perimeter shots as well. Step back Drew at the end of the shot clock. Just three seconds left. Gomes fires. No good. Five-point lead for Sioux Falls. The reason for that was the mindset and the approach by Jarnell Stokes going at the baskets and just adjustments they made offensively, but more than anything went back to his bruising big man self of just pump. Josh Majet rimmed out on a three. Defenders 17 points, tying their season low for first quarter points. They said their brand of basketball is... 
collected by Sioux Falls. Craig Winnington drives baseline, sees the double team, and LA forces the turnover. Excellent help there by Holyfield. Harper clogged up, and it's out of bounds to Sioux Falls. Five-point lead here for Sioux Falls, just underway in the second quarter. Looks like it might have went off the Jets' foot. Good L.A. ball, and, and this game has been chippy early on, and that will continue. Full court, Vander Blue off to a slow start. Averaging 30 points per game in these finals. Josh Jet lost the handle, and then it was knocked out by Torrey Murray. Los Angeles gets the ball back, but they lead the league in fewest turnovers. They don't have many unforced ones like that. You mentioned how difficult LA thought it would be to beat Sioux Falls in back-to-back -back games. Only once this entire season did Sioux Falls lose consecutive contests at home. Well, and they had, prior to last night, they had lost here at home in close to three months. Craig Whittington for two. And Whittington from the three-point line certainly was a factor there in game two of this production. And what we had seen, 17 points for him. Vander Blue, now just one of six from the field, looking for a call. Going hard to the hoop, and Blue with just two points so far in this game, but he's a guy who likes to play downhill attack mode, and he's going to need to get something going for this defender's team if they want to hang out. Lejet blocked by Benson. Gets it back, though. The low feed to Holyfield is knocked out of bounds by Sioux Falls. Disjointed play. The regular season games. Justin Hawkins has checked in for L.A. Return to the lineup in game two after missing three straight playoff games. It's a trifecta for Josh Majette and back to a five-point game. You see the mismatch there. Murray was on Harper, but Majette shooting over Benson. Critical basket. Whittington, catch and shoot, rebound down to Majette. Cross court for Blue. Good hands by Whittington. Up ahead, Magruder. And the foul called on Josh Smith. What's been the difference? What's changed? So I, I don't think anything has changed at all. I don't think there's a difference. And that's the type of attitude in mindset because he plays within the context of the offense. It'll stay. What, can do. what Magruder can do. Benson inside. Ingram after his own miss. And the 6-4 Ingram sticks it back with one hand. Magruder is open, missing from three. Communication on that L.A. zone, they're really clogging up the paint. They're staying inside, and at this point, you, you got to think that they're just forcing the Sky Force to take those outside looks. Hope they'll miss like we saw Magruder do just there. Vander Blue just shoved on the baseline. Two points, the lowest total Sioux Falls has scored these playoffs. And it did it. It threw them off, it, it namely in taking the ball out of Stokes' hands in position at the block to score, but it's different looks, it's mixing things up. Justin Harper, no good from three. On the reload, it's Hawkins. A third opportunity for Vander Blue. That got left short. And you can't say it about every miss, but you got to start to wonder. Vander Blue, Josh Majed both played 48 minutes last night. Does that affect their legs as we see Whittington hit that corner three, a factor from the three point arc? Six point swing. Laughter, the release. You're a shooter, you want that call. You want, you want any call. It's what you do. You're holding your hand, your wrist, you're looking at the ref. I don't think they, they're going to buy that, though. Another offensive rebound for L.A. 
The Jet, bounce pass, Harper for the lane. Draw the... LA hit 13 threes in game two, up from 10 in game one. That was a mix, that heroic performance where LeBron would just not come off the floor as motivation for Vander. Off the block, numbers for the defenders. Harper driving against Stokes. And Joey, he led the league in free throw attempts, maybe seeing a couple of those go in, adding points on the board. Anytime you're a scorer, you see the ball go through the hoop. It adds your feel, your flow, your rhythm of a ball game. Nearly midway through the second quarter. Torre Murray falling, falling back, missing the shot. Blue wants to run without numbers. Ingram from the elbow, in and out. We got a lot of rest in the stands. Sure do. Another packed house here in Sioux Falls. It's been an awesome environment. The atmosphere, the arena. This is a very educated basketball town. Dan Casey and Casey Owens have both said, or Dan Craig, I should say. Rodney McGruder drills a three. They love their Sky Force, and they have been out to support them this entire regular season, as they saw. The record broken for D-League wins 40. It's been quite a year for the Sky Force, can't they finish it off? Vander Blue gets to the cup. Liggins is a guy much like a handful of these big players. They're known for their defense, but they can score. Blue try to lead Harper to the basket. Hawkins commits the foul. Lost some teammates to injury. But they said, what more do you want? An opportunity to play for a championship? You don't want to come off the floor. Tore Murray left a three short. Jarnell Stokes battling for the rebounds. First half. And speaking of stars, Jarnell Stokes, number two on the NBA D-League prospect watch list. Spent some time with Miami earlier this season and is concluding the year here in Sioux Falls. Harper spins and it's blocked away. Nigel Spikes earning his first minute. Depth for depth for Dan Craig Putson, a guy who hasn't seen a minute in the finals and makes an impact immediately. Played just a total of two minutes in the Eastern Conference Finals did Spikes. Whittington attempts to thread a pass. That's kicked out of bounds. The Sky Force, they're going to a zone. They've been trapping, they've been showing some double teams. But they gotta make sure that they continue to pack it in the paint because the Sky Force produce best when they get the ball inside like they did right there. Spikes to Murray, off balance. Vander Blue driving on Spikes, uses the window. Let the score go to work. Spread the floor, everyone's out, the middle is wide open. You like your matchup, and Vander Blue can take it at a player like Nigel Spikes. A low-scoring first half. Who does that favor? I mean, I think it favors the Sky Force because that's how they want to play. They want to play more in the half court. They're defensive-minded. If they can keep L.A. off the scoreboard and not let them put up the benefit of the Sky Force team and a big reason why they've been so successful. Eric Spolster has been a bit busy. As Sioux Falls comes up with the steal, Lee Liggins shielding off Majette. And it's stolen back by L.A., but Spolstra and Craig have texted during these playoffs. Blue knocks down the mid-range, too. And just bringing up Spolstra's name to Coach <laughs> Craig yesterday just brought a spy smile to his face. It did, but you talk to anyone around the organization, the league, they said their work ethic is so similar, their demeanor, the manner in which they communicate and articulate to players. And Dad Craig said he loves the opportunity to, to not only coach teams, but just how to manage staff, how to delegate tasks. Uh, a shot of him. The L.A. job opened up because Connor Henry, who was supposed to be the head coach of the defenders this season, earned a job as an assistant with the Orlando Magic. It's not just the players, but the coaches also looking for that call-up. D.J. Shumpert with a good block of spikes. 
And while Sioux Falls with one another, an impressive group, but it does start with KCO, as I think we've seen it in practices, speaking with him, the attitude that he brings. Air ball at the end of the shot clock. Lead for Sioux Falls is eight. They jumped out to a 10-0 start to begin the game. The Jet driving. The kick out to Harper. The outside shooting so important in game two. It's not there in game three. Vander Blue can't hit from the outside. Out of Stokes last night. I have been blown away with what he's been able to do, not just in putting up points, because he went to work in the post in that first quarter, but now showing off the footwork and the skill and the outside work. Just 10 points. In and Stokes, he's got to be out to prove something. That he not only is MVP of the D-League, but what's going to happen to him this offseason in the summer and trying to get himself on an NBA roster. Blue up ahead to Harper, rebounding the Whittington miss. Harper working on Whittington, pivots inside. And is heading to the play. Defending the pick and roll. Can he be a guy in the NBA that has a type of movement and foot skill to play inside, play a stretch four? Whittington leads the break. Throws one up, no. Redirect. Miami Heat Summer League, Rodney Magruder there, and he said it was the opportunity, and the opportunity that Craig gave him, the confidence he gave him. And it is a trickle-down effect. We can talk player to player on the Sky Force team. There's so much talent as we see Liggins drain the three on the other end. 20-point lead for Sioux Falls. Ingram lost the dribble. Here's Magruder. Kick out Liggins, wants another three. In and out. Up ahead to Blue. Euro step in the lane and the foul. Let's go, the Heat. The parent club of Sioux Falls. For the last three years, the exclusive affiliate, and they've made the playoffs each year. Entry into Stokes. Majette gets underneath. Well, Josh Majet has earned the attention of this Skyforce crowd. Skip to Liggins. You can't get a better contest than that. On Josh Majet running at Liggins, as Liggins from deep still drains it. Second differential between game and shot clock. Shumpert sets the screen. Pull up, Vander Blue. Off the iron, no, collected with three seconds left. Magruder at the buzzer would not have counted. The best. It's what Dan Craig preaches, and it's what his system requires, and each one of these players has trust in one another, as we see Whittington added into the show, but it, it's the trust and it's the unity of this team, as Dan Frank says it, that each player knows that they've got the back of their teammate who can step in and help contribute to what they're trying to do. With Sarah Kustak, David Resnick, Sanford Pentagon in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, gaining, using their depth to take a big time lead here in the fourth, trying to close out the finals. Andre Ingram from the corner. And you saw it early. So many of these players playing major minutes. Last night for LA, a lot of their short, uh, shots have been short. They have been, and, and credit the Sky Force defense because we know that they bring so much of that in and this defender's team has continued to fight. LA with just 48 points here in the fourth quarter. team that averages well over 100 during the regular season. The Jet, the miss, flying in, Shumper denied by Whittington out of bounds. Shumper some some bounce, some athletic. In a reserve role for LA. 
Vander Blue off glass, no. Greg Whittington secures the rebound. Nijet pokes it away. Had not seen each other during the regular season. The jarring started very early. <laughs> it didn't take long. And you wonder that, because they're not familiar with one another. You're not facing up against each other during the regular season. But they knew exactly what was at stake. The Jets scores underneath just the 49th and 50th points here for LA. Their lowest output of the postseason, 83 on the road against Austin. This number one rated Sioux Falls defense doing a number on the defenders. Number one during the regular season, points per game, number one. Oppo op opposition field goal percentage. Very few open looks on offense for LA. Ingram hoists up a transition three. Well, it's been a combination of a lot of things. One, the system and, and what they run defensively for Dan Craig and, and the emphasis on pressure, ball pressure. As the defensive player of the year, DeAndre Liggins hits his third three-pointer of the game. But it's not only what they do, but the type of players, the length, the strength, and athleticism that they have with it. Yes? We're, we're on the other side, DeAndre. <laughs> we're, we're over here. Nice shot, though, it is. Good performance for Liggins thus far. Wish. Falls with a 25-point lead against shorthanded L.A. Harper fires from three, front of the iron. We certainly don't want to get ahead of ourselves here, but we talk to both sides. But these players emphasizing just the opportunity to win a championship at the professional level. They said that something that doesn't come along very often, they're savoring that chance. And, and you know, so many of these guys throughout the season, you're of course thinking about that's something that you can't take for granted because you don't know when that opportunity will come around again. And there's no guarantees for how good the Golden State Warriors have been in the NBA. They're going through some adversity right now. Yeah. So after a record-setting regular season for Sioux Falls, 40 wins, 10 losses, you actually have to go out and win six playoff games to earn that title. Well, it, it, it's that whole... For the 36th year, along with a cast of thousands, also streaming live on Watch ESPN and ESPN app. Averaging 30 points in these finals, entering tonight's game three. DeAndre Liggins with seven on the timer. Backing down the jet, create space. Left it short. The Jet after the rebound. Ripped away by Stokes for the flush. And Stokes had said earlier, he said, of course, my dream was to be wearing a Memphis Grizzlies jersey, a Miami Heat jersey during this season. But he said, that, that's not it anymore. My dream, my goal right now is to win a champion. Game two, sending second players at him. Double team in traffic. And the Sky Force team is so loaded with potent scores that Stokes drawing that attention opens things up for his teammates. And it just made this team so difficult to guard and obviously a major reason why they were able to set that D-League regular season record. Injury in game two, second half. LA did not have Ryan Gomes. And that effectively ended their chances to take game three on the road. Extra pass to Murray. Stokes the offensive rebound. Winnington opts to take more time off the clock. Trawick against Jumper. Murray. Winnington with seven on the timer. Works against Harper. Trawick for three. Offensive rebound, Boo Boo Palo. And that, of course, the winning and knowing that this was a place where he can continue to improve. Vander Blue working against Benson, blows right by him and then misses the layup. Just that type of night for both sides. Paulo to Trowick and an exclamation point here in Sioux Falls.
the Sky Force. Started every single playoff game, and Sioux Falls will end the postseason with a 6-1 record. Benson the block. Blue lines up for three, well short. Numbers for Sioux Falls. Out of bounds to LA. And credit Sky, full job he did with his defenders team this season and particularly throughout the postseason. They emerged from the West as the number four seed, winning a pair of games. Andrew Blue trying to walk it off as Trawick got to the rim. Jamal Branch has checked in for the first time in these finals. Off glass and good. This is the turning point in his career. He appreciates the confidence that he felt like he regained, and also the understanding of not just score that they, they gave it everything that they had. They said if, if that's what they do, then they can leave feeling satisfied. Branch gets to the rim again, under three minutes to go. But for the Sky Force, a team that just continued to set records as the seeds. Approaching two minutes to go in game three. Seven on the timer. Benson from deep. Saved by Paolo. Wraparound pass. Looking for spikes. Numbers for LA. Ingram gets to a good spot. Up. They're going to win six of seven. It's, it's been unbelievable to watch. And again, that all starts at the top and give credit to what Dan Craig has done coming over for his first season as head coach and understanding what this organization is about. And, and they gave the fans plenty to cheer about. And these fans certainly came, packed the place, and have brought energy from start to finish.